Excelsior! Welcome everyone to another video today. My name is Nicholas or Nick Greer. It doesn't matter to me, so let's get into it. And today I will be talking about the Marvel Comics character known as Tamara Ran or Tamara Ron. She made her first appearance in Submariner issue 58 in February of 1973. Tamara was the last female of her alien race. She and the rest of her male race were kept in a spacecraft where they ended up on Earth. Unfortunately, all of the males were eliminated by the Atlanteans, who assumed they were invaders. When the ruler of Atlantis himself returns to his kingdom, this is where he meets Tamara. As the Atlanteans repaired her spacecraft, she is sent away. However, Tamara returns to Atlantis to attack them after the Atlanteans massacred the remaining survivors of her race. Catching the attention of Namor, he destroys her ship and places her under guardianship. Basically means to look after her or something like that. When the Atlantean barbarian known as Lorvex spotted Tamara, he was mesmerized by her looks and tried to get with her. Giving her a tour around Atlantis, he tried forcing himself onto her, not sure if he tried to rape her. Fortunately, she escapes his grasp and attacks him, leaving him stuck under a pillar. After this battle, Tamara would be caught in a fishing net and taken to New York City. Learning that she was captured, the Submariner went to rescue her only to cross paths with the God of Thunder himself, Thor. Defeated by Thor, Namor retreats only to form an army in order to invade the surface. Teaming up with Lorvex despite Namor knocking him out for forcing himself onto Tamara, the invasion would occur with Lorvex rescuing Tamara. However, this rescue mission was more of a kidnapping situation as Lorvex keeps her as a hostage with the inclusion of, of trying to destroy New York City if Namor tried to rescue her. Since Namor tried to save her, Lorvex kept his promise and informed the Atlanteans to continue onwards with the invasion. Fortunately, this didn't last and Namor defeats Lorvex with the addition of saving Tamara. Namor will also call off the invasion and retreat back home. You may think that this is the end of Tamara's journey, but it's not. She went to live with some amphibian-like creatures called the Hydro Men, not to be confused with Hydro Man, the Spider-Man villain. She will be captured by some of Namor's enemies like Atuma, but fortunately she was saved by Namor. Tamara is last seen as an undercover agent for Namor joining the Phantom Five, an Atlantean terrorist group who want to destroy us humans. As a fake member of the group, she will be attacked by, by the radioactive supervillain known as Radioactive Man, who planted some radiation on her to where it can kill Atlanteans. Now let's move on to her powers and abilities. Superhuman strength, durability, stamina. She can breathe underwater and travel at superhuman speed with the addition of surviving underwater for extended periods of time, unlike us humans. She can obviously see underwater, including seeing through ocean depths. She's skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat with the inclusion of being trained in unarmed and armed combat.